Okay guys, so you saw my last video that baby Jay did not last here long, stay here long, he got moved to another placement. Um, however, we got a phone call today for another baby. I'm excited for this. Uh, he's baby T, <laughs> all the alphabet letters. Um, really, really sweet baby. And the most beautiful thing is he is the same age as baby R. This is gonna be fun. They're, I'm just waiting on them to bring him. They already confirmed that he's coming to me. <sighs> this is exciting. Okay, so we just went, if you haven't heard of the Buy Nothing groups on Facebook, you're probably gonna wanna join your local Buy Nothing group. We just picked up the crib from there you can see up here the rest is on top of my car um <clears throat> driving through like the side streets because i've got a crib on the top of my car um so i'm taking this home gonna get the crib set up already have my <coughs> <coughs> sorry about that already have another car seat so that's good and i did get the confirmation that Little man's gonna be here today. Everything's set up with him, with the agency. We are ready to rock and roll. I don't know what time because you never know what time they'll be here. But um, yeah, so I'm really excited about this. He is five months old, which means he is the same age as baby L. I mean, all the things are getting mixed up. Baby R. <clears throat> so, yeah, guys, we'll we'll see how it goes from here. I'm I'm excited. I always get so excited. I think I get so excited because like it's a new life and it's a new baby to nurture and all the goodness that comes along with it. So, mm -hmm. all right, I'll see you guys when I get home. I guess we are we are here. He's here. He's here. Hi, buddy. A little baby R's over there. Hi. It has been, <clears throat> so he got here. I'm trying to talk really softly and calmly because everything is new for him. What's different about this is he's five months old and he is fully aware that his mom is not here. And he got in my arms and he was fine. <clears throat> and then I started talking a little bit and he started crying. And then he calmed down again and he started crying again. Gave him a bath, cried a little bit, but quickly calmed down, fell asleep. He's looking at me now. He's very alert, just like baby, baby R. And, but it, it's kind of like a little bit more just like hits your heart because he's five months old and he, you know, he knows something's different. And baby R is turning six months old and I've had him since he was two months old. And at two months, like, you know, between that two, that well, really from birth, but really from one month, one and a half to two months old until now, <clears throat> they've really connected and built that bond. So this is one of the things with foster care where you're like, it's really difficult to like, when you're detaining these children, they have to, people have to understand, like you can't keep bouncing them around because if they don't reunify with parents, then like they need to maintain those bonds. So, um, but he's, he's a good little boy. He's a chunky little boy. He is fed. That boy was fed, 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 fed. Um, so we're going to go on a walk. I gave him a bath. He slept a little bit. I got him dressed. Baby R has been dressed for the day. We're going to go on a walk. Uh, just to get him out, see the community, get some fresh air. Um, Cause I think that's, I think it, I wanna set the tone of what it's like living in, in, our, in, in our home because um, I think that will really help him. So I'm gonna get them in the car seat. I'll see you guys outside. Before we head outside, like, can I just show you, this is what happened, look at this house. Do you guys see this? This is what happens when we get a placement. I mean, my place just goes to shit. Like literally everything gets, look at the kitchen. Like y'all, I don't live like this. Everything gets thrown everywhere. I'm unpacking stuff. I got the crib that's not even done being put together. Like, 
So I got one shoe on. Like, what is going on right now? It's okay. We're gonna go on a walk. I had to show you guys. We are on our walk. Homeboy is a talker. I mean, he saw a helicopter, started talking. Saw trees, start, look, listen, he's a talker. And then we got little baby R down here, right? Right? He's like, baby R knows the camera. I mean, he's been doing this since two months old. So he knows that camera's in front of him. He puts that charm on. Too bad. Yeah, you have so much to say. You like seeing everything outside, bud? That's baby T. Ooh, listen to him go. All right, so guess where we're going? Starbucks. Because I need some Starbucks. Number two for the day. Ooh, and then I got these flyers. Let's see. Oh, Lord have mercy. These, some simple little newsletter about the real estate in Sherman Oaks. Gonna be putting those on homes. I have 200 of them. Knock two birds out with one stone. Walk the kids. Put the flyers out. Busy, 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 busy. But right now, so far so good. I think I said earlier, he was crying a lot. And I get it. It's new and I know because of his age and because he's been with his mom for five months, he's gonna, it's gonna take some time. He's gotta learn me got to build trust with me so that's just gonna come through but you know we spend a lot of time together me and all the babies so it's gonna come through you know holding him you know they build bonds through changing diapers through bath time that's where it's feeding they build that trust that you're the person that provides that for them so all of that will happen over time and we'll see where things go with this little guy. Right? <laughs> yeah, you see that, buddy? You see that? Okay, guys, I'm going to go to Starbucks. Can we talk about, like, how good these boys are being? I'm at Starbucks. Look at how, like, they're just so good. I love it. We'll see if it stays that way because you never know. But look at them. Look how just like precious they are. That's baby R down there and baby T. Like, look how precious. Ugh, I can't get enough. I'm so blessed. So blessed. So, you know, I'm over here walking and you know, I'm thinking about like, this is staring at me. I have no desire to do this with a partner. It's so crazy because when I started fostering, I was like, literally the story of me starting was, I was on an app, a dating app, and I was like, why the hell am I on this app? And then I said to myself, because I want a, to get married. And I was like, well, why do you want to get married, Kevin? And I was like, because I want children. <clears throat> and then the next thought that goes through my head, I was like, well, why do you want to get, why do you have to get married to have children? And then I said to myself, I don't have to. And then, you know, a year later, here I am with these two guys. And I just was like, it, I have learned so much. And then you, you all know I went through that breakup and everything. As I look back, man, I'm like, I, would, I do not want to do this with anyone else because it is just like, I, I don't want uh, the opinions and decisions and, oh, I don't want to do this with, you know, fostering. Sorry if it's windy, guys. Um, Oh, I don't want to take that baby in. I don't want to take this baby in. I just don't want, I don't, ah, I'm so grateful to do this by myself. And as far as dating in the future, like, sure, I want to date. But, and even now, like, I would love to go on a date or two, but like super casual and like, sure. It, I would honestly rather it be like a, a setup, like someone set me up on something, blind date maybe, and then, we go on a date and then I don't hear from you for a week or two. And then maybe we catch up and go on another date because I just don't have the time, care, energy, anything for it. And then like, another thing is like, I don't know that I would 
Well, I would, but I prefer to date someone that has children because you don't know what this is like until you do it. Ooh, this house is pretty. This is brand new, I think, on this house. Here's my ADHD. Yeah, this is all brand new. You see how they have those pillars? Anyway, that's my little rant for now. I'm supposed to be putting flyers on houses. What am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna back up and do my job here. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. I've like literally passed like, okay, only two houses. <sighs> okay. Okay, <clears throat> so we went on our walk. They both fell asleep. It was beautiful. Car is over here, um, eating his bottle, drinking. And the other little guy <clears throat> is now crying. Oh, oh, poor baby. He's just over here watching some TV. What's wrong, bud? What's wrong? You're not enjoying the show anymore? Here you go. It's okay. There you go. There's that pacifier. There you go. So I'm letting him watch some of that um, while I finish up this crib. I'm gonna go to my friend's house and um, get some pizza. She's gonna meet this guy. And we're just gonna hang out with babies. So, yeah. Things are going really, really well right now. I'm really happy. I c Again, I could tell he's kind of like out of it. Like, what's going on? So, I've gotten a couple smiles out of him. Not a ton. But, uh, yeah. I really want to get this done because after I come home with her, I want to get them ready for bed and passed out. Okay, here we go. What a night. So, it is... 10.36 p.m. We are headed home. <sighs> the kids are great. Like, you guys got to see this picture right up here. And they're just so cute. And, like, they're interacting with each other. Baby T is just, like, you can tell that he's still a little bit like, what is going on? <laughs> but he was giggling and my friend was holding him and he was giggling and I was holding him and he was giggling. And then like I was, I laid them both down like in that photo and they, oh, someone doesn't like that I'm talking. And they, um, they were just looking at each other and laughing and playing so that is really sweet it's really cool to have them as the same age well ours is a month older but um yeah man so i am tired i'm not gonna lie and baby r did not want to go to sleep like he was just not even fighting it he just like was not tired and um <clears throat> Finally, they're both, I think they're both asleep right now. We'll see. Then we're gonna get inside. I still got a huge mattress for the crib in my car right next to me. I gotta get that upstairs. I'm thinking I might just have uh, baby R sleep in the bassinet because he's smaller than baby T. Have T sleep in the, in the mini crib and then tomorrow morning I'll get the uh, Tomorrow I'll get this mattress out of here and finish setting up the crib and whatnot. But it's been a good day. Um, it's been an unexpected day. Like I just did not expect to be to get this call to pick this little little man up today. So we'll see how it all goes. I'm grateful. I'm blessed. All right. Oh um, yeah. Okay. I'll see you guys in a minute. I'm tired. Okay, we're home. Both of these little devils are passed out. And I was talking to my friend on the way home. I was like, I should really just like sleep in the car for two hours. Because I'm going to have to get them up. Get them ready for bed. Get them in the bed. And I'm just tired. But I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to go inside. Put pajamas on them. And put them in the bed. And pray to God that they just fall right asleep. 
we'll see how it goes. But I got a lot. Here's the crib and all this stuff I have to get out. I'm not doing that tonight. I'll get that tomorrow. Oh my god, I'm tired. Um so let's see, I've got the um stroller here. One second, let me get that out. You can hear that that was a whole production. Okay, so I saw someone asked me in the comments what kind of double stroller that I have. This is, so this is, they, they're not on it, obviously now they're still in the car. But this is a Cybex. It's the Gazelle S. Um, I know it says Gazelle on here somewhere. But yeah, it's the Cybex and it's the Gazelle. S. I'll put it in on the screen or something or in the comments. Um, <clears throat> it's really good. I really like it. I, like I always say, I also, I also have the Kalugo. This stroller is significantly more heavy than the Kalugo. Uh, however, I, the Kalugo is lighter, but it's not a double stroller. And I like that when I just have one and I can use it as a bassinet as well. This doesn't have any sort of bassinet feature. Okay, let me get these kids out of here. Okay, and <coughs> this is what it looks like. I'm trying to get any better lighting. This is what it looks like when the two, uh, those are the infant car seats. So, the car seats are made by Kleck C. L-E-K, and the stroller is Cybex. And baby S just woke up. So his pacifier probably fell out. Um, not ideal, not ideal at all. Okay, we open the door to the garage. Unlock the stroller. It's easy. No one said it's easy. Mm. Oh, we're almost, we're almost upstairs. Okay, I'll hit you up when we're inside. Okay, so we're home. You guys can see like this place it literally is still a mess. All the way down there, I've got the bassinet not even put away. Over here, I've got my old desk. It's all broken up on the wall. Um, I'm throwing that out. Oh my gosh. Look at this bedroom. Look at this shit. Because I was going to clean up. We got made some headway on this. I was going to clean up. But then I ended up going to my friend's house. So I was like, I'll do this. There's no way in hell I'm going to bed tonight with this place looking like it is. I want to do probably like half of the work tonight and then I'll do more tomorrow because I cannot wake up to this. Another thing, I think I'm gonna buy on Amazon uh, a crib like partition and that way they can sleep like twins, you know what I mean? Can sleep in the thing. He's awake, so Remy's always the first to get up because baby R is always the first to get up because he knows the home. Get him ready for bed. Got the music going. Literally just gonna throw him in some pajamas, see if I'll fall asleep. If not, I will um, have to feed him to get him to go to sleep. It's really late. I mean, he's usually in bed a good four hours ago, right? So let's let's do this. The insanity. This one is like going crazy. This one is going crazy. There we go. 
It's madness around here. Get more bottle for him. Sometimes I ask myself, how do you do it? Because it's like literally like they're just, they're just freaking out. But I gotta remind myself, it's really late. I woke them up, changing them, all that jazz. And all that jazz. Who can name the tune? Um, so I just gotta remember that and let it go. You can probably still hear them. So we got, what the heck? That for baby R. There we go. And then baby T. We're gonna do uh, some hot water for him. We're gonna do eight ounces, six ounces. Water only. So it's 11.17 right now. I'm gonna get them to sleep. I, they're gonna go to sleep really quickly, I can imagine. God, they're having a, like, crying mesh. And, um... You hear that loud one? That's our homeboy has got a scream on him. Two... Three... So sorry about that camera shit, guys. I'm gonna get R in the bassinet and give him his thing, and um, then I'm gonna feed that little monster in here. So I'll hit y'all up when they're in bed. Now, let me get, let me take care of this. See y'all soon. Mm. <clears throat> so I am finally got them down. It is 11.47, sitting out on my patio. I'm not tired. I'm like, whew, okay, that's good. <clears throat> T is just laying there. He fell asleep in my arms, I put him down, and then he woke up crying. I think because he was breastfed, he's probably used to being very close to his mother. It's a change for him. <clears throat> so, um, you know, he's just got to get used to that. But he's not crying or anything. He's laying there. I felt I, in the dark, I could see him playing with his pacifier a little bit. Baby R is knocked out. He was screaming. I picked him up. He fell asleep. So he's passed out. Um... Tomorrow, we'll get into that regular routine. Seven o'clock, we'll start the bedtimes. I think baby R, I'm gonna do bedtimes first because if I get him knocked out, he's good to go. He's already sleeping through the night. The thing with T is I don't know how he wakes up through the night. Usually you'd think he's sleeping through the night, but because he's breastfed, he could have been getting you know, fed throughout the night or nursed through the night. So who really knows? So I will, and also he is, at least for now, he's more capable of soothing himself and he's easier to like let sit down and or lay down and kind of amuse himself with toys or some videos or something like that. So if I can keep, I think getting R to bed first so he's not screaming and stuff because they kind of do set each other off then I could focus on getting tea and a bath and all that jazz and get him to bed. Hmm. So I'll learn over time how it's gonna work. The biggest thing is gonna be what is this guy's personality like? What is his routine like? And also adapting him to a new routine. Um, but that's it guys, I think that's about it. Uh, man, it's been a wild ride. Baby J obviously went home, or not home, he went to a different home. And um, 
such a quick turnaround. I didn't expect this. I was just like at Starbucks this morning, walking home right down the street, and I get a call and they were like, we've got this boy, do you wanna take him? And I can't say no. I can't say no. If I have room for two, then I can't say no. Um, and, I, and I don't want to say no either. I don't know if this guy's gonna go to adoption. I don't really, I can't say I don't care because like I wanna adopt two babies. Um, but I fully support, in his case, I fully support reunification. If, if mom can get things together, um, it's just a completely different case than the other. And um, a, a way I, I, f I would feel more comfortable with this type of reunification, but we'll see. You never know. You really, really never know. And um, it's too low human sleeping right now. I'm gonna clean a little bit, at least put stuff away, and then I'm probably gonna go to bed. Oh my god, thank you guys for everything. I got some comments to respond to, but um, might do that in the morning, I don't know. But thank you guys, y'all are amazing, y'all are amazing, I love you, peace out, bye.